Hey guys, all right, so I've had quite a few people um, ask questions and want to know more information about the Power of Three chart that I have. Um, so I'm gonna go over that with you real fast um, and explain exactly how I use it and um, give you some good ideas, hopefully, okay? All right, so let me share my screen. All right, so, oh, I'm gonna come back and show you that one in just a second. So here is the power of three chart. Um, <clears throat> and as you can see, it's got Monday through Sunday, because if you wanna work on the weekends, you most certainly can. Um, I print these off like five at a time. And so when I get down to um, the last week or so, I'll print out five more, unless I need to write on the follow-ups um, farther out in advance, um, then I'll print them out sooner, okay, if I need to. Um, so the first, uh, first thing on the Power of Three list is three new ads on Facebook, okay? There is five spots on each of these for the chart. Um, so I guess if you do five, that's just an added bonus. Um, so three new ads on Facebook, and I do not write their name down until they actually accept my friend request, okay? Um, because you, not everybody that you send a friend request to is gonna accept your friend request. Well, and maybe not like right that day either. They might accept it two days down the road, you know, which then if, when they, if they sent one on Monday and, it, and they accept it on Wednesday, I will come on over here and when it's Wednesday, I'll write down their name because they accepted it on Wednesday. So I make sure that I send out three friend requests and hopefully um, I get three acceptances. If not, then I'll go back and I'll, I'll send out a couple more friend requests, fill up those spots. Um, the next thing is uh, new Hey Girl messages. And on the guys chart, for the guys, I think it says new Hey Man message to new friends. Okay, so basically what this is, is on Monday, I'll have my new friends that accepted my friend request right. On Tuesday, I will send them a message. I will send these guys a message on Tuesday. And basically it's just, hey, thanks for accepting my friend request. I saw you in the blank page. I saw that we have this in common and I thought that we could be friends on Facebook. I'm excited to see your posts. Um, how's your day been going? Right, starting a conversation, making friends, um, finding out about their life and after you ask a certain amount of questions, you'll know how Beachbody can help improve their life, okay? Because in some aspect of everybody's life, I have no doubt that Beachbody can help everyone, okay? That everyone needs some part of this, okay? Um, <clears throat> so I send out the, so these ones on Monday would be either from Sunday or from Saturday or from Friday if I decide not to work on the weekends, okay? Um, and then these ones will be the people that I that accepted my friend request on Monday. Um, next one down is new messages to long time no talk to friends. And these are people that um, if you're scrolling through your newsfeed, which I don't really recommend because you can get lost in your newsfeed. Um, but if you are and you see somebody that you haven't talked to, go into their profile, like and comment on a few of their posts, see what they've been up to, and then send them a, a message and just say, hey, long time no talk to. I saw that blah, 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 you know, from their page happened that's really exciting or really super cute you know what i mean just depending on whatever it is that they've got going on and then just ask them a basic general question like how's your day been going what else have you been up to how's how's things been you know what i mean how's your grandma if you know that like their grandma wasn't doing good or something you know what i mean so you just start those conversations with long time no talk to friends um what i will do is I'll go into my own personal Facebook profile and go to your friends list, scroll all the way down to the bottom, unless you're like Jen and you've got 5,000 friends, but 
scroll down, you know, because the ones at the bottom are the ones who um, you haven't been connecting with. Those people are the people that you have had the least amount of interaction with. So those people down at the bottom probably are not even seeing your daily posts. Okay. So you're going to start conversations with those people so that they'll start seeing your daily posts again. Okay. So I find a few people, three that I haven't talked to in a while. I'll go into their profile and do the same thing and then send them a message. And then I write their name down. Um, next one is posts on Facebook besides beach body stuff. Okay. Because, um, just because you're a beach body coach doesn't mean that that is the only thing that you have going on for you in your life. I guarantee it's not. Um, you know, so here, this is where, well, maybe I'll, I'll go through the rest of this list. And when I show you the list that I've duded up for myself, I'll explain, um, a little bit more about that then. Okay. So, um, three posts on Facebook besides beach body stuff. Um, the next one is invites to the upcoming clean eating group, challenge group, or coach open house. So you're inviting, you know, and these names, they can be some of the same names from the people that you started conversations with. If it goes in that direction, um, I wouldn't recommend saying, oh, hey, how's your grandma? Do you want to join my challenge group? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like there's, there's a time to, to say, uh, your invitation to whatever group it is that we're doing. Okay. Um, so three invites to whatever group we're doing the next week. Um, and then you've got your three follow-ups. So with, I do write like a little action required of like kind of a couple words of how the conversation went with the follow-up. Okay. Um, so like if they're not interested, not now. Okay. That's all you got to do. So then three or four weeks down the road on your next sheets, schedule to follow up with them again and see if now's a better time. Right. Um, so follow-ups, um, I don't necessarily go, okay, I've got three people that I need to follow up with today who should they be? And then just go off the top of my head. I actually will use this section, um, for like a calendar so that, okay, I talk to so-and-so about a challenge group on Tuesday and she said she didn't get paid till Friday. So I'm going to follow up with her on Thursday. So I'll go and I'll write her name on Thursday so that I know I need to follow up with her that day. Okay. Makes sense. Right. Um, and then you've got three coach opportunity conversations. There is three spots for each day, but you do not have to do three coach opportunity conversations a day. It's really meant for three, at least three a week. Um, obviously if you want to grow your team faster, you're going to want to do more than three a week. Okay. Does that make sense? Um, I really hope so. And then down at the very, very bottom are your daily habits. Okay. You got your personal development. That is non-negotiable. you got your Shakeology. That is non-negotiable. you got your workout. That is also non-negotiable. -nego okay. So if you are doing this chart, okay, you have got inviting down like you step by step of inviting, okay? And you've got your personal development, your Shakeology, and your workout, okay? Being proof that the products work. Um, so this is the three vital behaviors um, in the power of three, okay? The number three um, obviously works magic. Um, one thing that I do want to say really fast is that I really, really, really hope that you guys will take this and I hope that you will run with it. Okay. Um, but when you do, if you are not used to doing all of these activities of inviting, adding message, message, your posts, invites, follow-ups, co coach opportunity conversations, if you're not used to doing all of those in a day, 
Um, don't get upset with yourself when you start this. And if you do not 100% fill it out every section of the day, every day of the week, okay? Um, I personally, okay, doing this myself, I have yet to have a 100% filled out day, 100% filled out week sheet, okay? But I do know that the amount that I get done is way more than it was before I started using this chart, guaranteed, okay? Um, and even just in the um, amount of time that I have used this chart, which is only like three, three weeks, something like that, um, I have already seen amazing results and looking back at my charts, you would probably like go, did she do any work? Because they are not 100% filled out, um, which is okay. Because I know that compared to before three weeks ago, I have definitely done more inviting with my chart not even filled out than I did before. So I'm just letting you guys know it's okay to not have every single thing filled out every day. Do we strive for it? Of course, but if you don't get it done, does that mean you failed? Absolutely not, because I guarantee you, if you're even doing half of each one, if you're even just doing one of each box a day, that is probably still more than what you have been doing in the past, okay? So do the best that you can. Obviously, we all want to strive to fill it out each day of the whole entire week. Um, and someday that'll happen, right? Okay. Um, so I hope you guys don't have any questions so far about that. So I'm going to swipe back to um, the one that I've uh, dude it all up for myself, okay? Um, so I'm going to explain to you a little bit about right here, the three daily posts besides Beachbody, and I put in there, and two maps about Beachbody. Okay, so I actually went through and wrote down all the different types of posts that I'm going to have each day for the whole entire week. So except for this one right here, the whole top da, 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 is um, a couple's workout pick with Scott or just a workout pick with a motivational quote on it. Um, just to, cause that's, that's a lifestyle. That's not necessarily po posting like join my challenge group or you know what I mean? That's, that's part of my life. Okay. Doing a workout is part of my life. So I do not count that as a beach body post. Um, and then with a motivational quote on there too, you're really just hoping to inspire others to go for a walk, to get up and do 10 jumping jacks, something, you know what I mean? Um, so I've got that down. That's like the first thing that happens. It's right here on number two on Monday for me because number two, the whole second column or the whole second row of these is a post that I'm gonna share in a specific group. Okay, so groups on Facebook. Um, okay, so to find the groups that you should be in, if you haven't done this exercise, you definitely should, where you, okay, you make a T down a paper, okay? On one side, you write down everything that every beach body coach has, okay? We all have workouts, we all have Shakeology, we all have Shanti that we can work out with, all the things that we have in common that every single coach has. That is not where you should be looking to help people from because everybody, every other Beachbody coach has that. That doesn't set you apart, that doesn't make you any different, that doesn't, um, help people um, be attracted to you because the only people you would be attracting are other Beachbody coaches because they're the only ones that have that same thing with you, right? Um, 
So on the other side of the T, you write down what makes you different uh, from all Beachbody coaches, okay? I'm not saying that you have to be uh, the only Beachbody coach who is a mom to consider a mom's group for one of your groups, okay? Because not all Beachbody coaches are moms, right? You've got guys, we've got girls who don't have kids yet, you know what I mean? That they would not connect well with moms, okay? So you write down the things that you enjoy that makes you different, okay? So <clears throat> just to give you uh, more examples, um, I've got my workout pick set on number two, and I'm posting those in a fitness group, okay? Um, day two, and I also post these on my, on my regular page, my regular profile, okay? Day two, I've got um, a picture of Paya, and I'm posting that in a Great Dane group. Um, day Wednesday, I've got a picture about my kids, something about my kids goes on my regular page, but I also post it in a mom group. Um, I've, I've got food, okay, that I'm posting for Thursday, which is going in a healthy clean eating group, okay. Um, Friday, I've got a, a sugar glider, and so I'm going to post about sugar in the sugar glider groups, okay. Um, Travel and family, okay? So you've basically figured out your niche, what makes you different, and then go find these groups um, that go with that interest of yourself, okay? So how um, I find people to send friend requests to, okay? So this is kind of like the fun little part about doing this is because in that group, let's say I post in this Great Dane group about Paya, um, and I have somebody comment on it and say, oh, she's so cute. If I look at their little picture, right, and if it looks like they would be somebody who I would want to work with, right, because we get to pick who we work with. If it looks like somebody that I would be compatible with, I will comment back to them so that they see that. Okay, I'll reply back to their comment, and then I'll go into their page, look through their page a little bit, you know, obviously make sure that they're not another Beachbody coach already, um, and then I'll send them a friend request, okay? So I find people in these groups to send my friend request to, rather than, because what I did do in the past would just go to like my suggested friends, which are basically people that you have mutual friends with. And then you just have to kind of see who you think you might relate with, but then check their friends to make sure that you don't have 50 mutual beach body coach friends, because then chances are they probably are already a coach, which is good to have coach friends, but you definitely don't want to only find, you know, people to add on to Facebook. Um, that are already coaches because uh, they're already coaches, okay? And that doesn't really help you invite them to anything, okay? Um, so then number three is basically just fun stuff that I wanna post on um, my profile page, on my regular page. And then down here at the bottom, I've got more beach body type stuff, okay? So I've got Shakeology, I've got a transformation, I've got a post about Fit Club, personal development, uh, and then throughout the week I have two hard invites, okay? So those are basically um, join my challenge group, join my clean eating group, um, what is coaching? It like one of those bam in your face kind of posts, okay? So I've got two of those, one on Wednesday, one on Friday, to invite to the group that starts the next Monday, okay? Or if it's a challenge group, it'll actually start the next Tuesday, a week after that, okay? Um, so, and then I've got a success story with an invite to, for whatever kind of success story it is. Um, yeah, so that's basically how I do my daily posts as well. Um, 
Okay, this is another thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is the coach op conversations. Um, I know that sometimes it's hard to just reach out to somebody and say, hey, would you like to be a coach? You know what I mean? Like exactly like what do you say? Um, so what I do is if the conversation has kind of gone that way, you know what I mean? Like I've already been forming their the relationship with them. Um, and I think that they would be a good coach. I would message them and say, hey, I don't know if this would interest you at all or not, but I have this two minute video um, that explains what we beach body coaches love um, as far as coaching goes, okay? What we love about coaching. I, I thought of you because, Da, 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 why you think they would be a coach, why they would be a good coach, right? Um, if I sent you the link, would you watch it? Okay. And then you wait for a response. Okay. You get a response. Usually it's a two minute video, right? You like that's piqued some kind of interest in them. I guarantee it. Um, so if they say yes, I say, great. Do you have time to watch it now? Or would you have to watch it later? You know, and if they're on Facebook messaging, they probably have two minutes that they can watch it really fast, okay? So I wait to hear back what they say. If they say that they can watch it now, then I go right to the next step. If they say that they'll have to watch it later, I'll ask them, great, when do you think you would have time to watch it? And then I wait back for a response. And then when they tell me, uh, when they would be able to watch it. I say, great, I will follow up with you. Um, like if they say tomorrow morning, I'll say, great, I'll follow up with you tomorrow afternoon. Um, okay, right? And then I will send them the link to the video, which is one that's two minutes long and it just goes quickly through like eight different coaches about what part of coaching they love and has benefited them the most. So when I send them the link, I say, great, here's the link. After you have watched it, let me know what part about it stood out to you the most. Okay. So you don't want to ask them what they think, because as soon as you ask somebody what they think, they obviously, they like instantly get opinionated. And most people, when they're opinionated, they like to nitpick, okay? So then that usually brings out any anything negative or they look for something negative to say. So if you say, let me know what part stood out to you the most, then they're gonna come back with, I like that I could actually make money and be able to stay home with my kids, okay? I like that I can work on my own transformation and help others at the same time. Okay, so they're gonna figure out what part about it would benefit their life. So then already you know that, you know, they're not really interested in this part or that part, but they're interested in that part of coaching. So you know that you can utilize that part of coaching to help them benefit their life, okay? Um, so then after that, you know, and I'll usually message them back and say, great, I know I really like that part about it too. I know that it didn't really explain a whole lot about the business end because it really doesn't. I've got another video that's seven minutes long that really explains almost everything you need to know about coaching. It explains everything you need to know about coaching, okay? And then... I say, it's a seven minute video. If I send you the link, will you watch it? Of course, to this point, if they're still interested, they're gonna say yes, okay? So then I go through the whole steps again. Do you have time to watch it now? Okay, when do you think you would have time? Okay, so if I follow up on, with you on this time, here's the video link after you've watched it. Let me know what part you liked best or most or, you know, because then, then they're going to also tell you too, oh, I really like the idea of Shakeology. Oh, I really like that I can save money by not going to a gym, having to drive there, having to find a babysitter, um, all of that stuff. Uh, so you're going to see 
what part of that that they really like too. And so when they message me back or if I have to reach out to them when they said they would have watched it by, hey, did you have a chance to watch it? You know what I mean? Um, after they've told me what they like the best about it, um, I will yeah agree with them, right? And then I will ask them, that's awesome. On a scale of one to 10, 10 being, I'm ready. I'm ready to sign up as a coach. Let me, let's get me going. Um, where are you on that scale? Will you go upstairs and let them in? Um, where are you at on the scale from one to 10? And so see where they're at. Okay. If they're like a five or above, that's, that's good numbers. Okay. And so you very rarely is somebody saying gonna say like I'm a 10 I mean if they are great be like okay what well, flavor of Shakeology do you want what workout here's your link you know send them the link with the mobile app um, but if they're you know five to nine um, ask them just say great that's a great number whatever number it is what can we do to get it to a 10 okay and then they're gonna tell you what their objection is Okay, and then when they tell you what their objection is, what, what it would take to get them from a five to a 10, um, then you can address whatever concern that they have, okay? You can talk more about it and see, see where you need to go from there. Um, so that's my coach opportunity conversation right there, okay? And then if they want, if they want to talk on the phone, and really ask me lots of questions. I'll get them on the phone. I'll get them on a Zoom call. Um, answer whatever questions they have and hopefully get them going. Okay. So coach opportunity conversations. Um, yeah. So you guys, that is basically it. That is the power of three. Um, I really hope that you guys can take this information and really utilize it. And I know, I know for a fact, if you are doing your best on this chart, even if it's not a hundred percent perfect, um, I know that you will see amazing results. Okay. I know it. All right, guys. I hope that helped. Um, if you have any questions, comment on this video. Um, or on this post for our team page. So I hope you guys have a good night and I will talk to you soon.